people are the most common subjects in photography. Rightfully so. I mean, we are always on our phones, taking pictures of our friends, spouses, or children. However, there is an art and technique in snapping quality and beautiful portraits. In this lesson, we will dive into shooting great portraits using our phones. We discuss exposure, contrast, and most importantly, composition. I will be working with a model as we shoot different portraits. Also take inspiration from films, magazines, photo books, and other photographers. So for our portrait photo shoot, I opted for a location with a bit of texture, tones to it. The way I composed this image was to use some props. The chase chessboard is the props that I used in order to edit dramatic narrative for the shot. So the most important thing again is to work out the exposure and preserve the highlights when you compose the image. As you can see, the use of the light meter to increase the light or decrease the light on the subject. So this is how you manage to capture an image that is well lit. One of the challenges was the background is a bit overblown because there is a window and the um, light was coming through. So what I had to do is to preserve the highlights by underexposing. So you see the light meter, you underexpose in order to preserve the highlights. Some of these things will be fixed when editing, that is to bring back the light on the subject. And yeah, these are different shots that I was able to come up with. So remember to make your shot interesting, play around with props as well, and set your subject in different angles. Also, something to remember when you're taking portraits is to try out different poses. So you can take inspiration from social media like Instagram or Pinterest on different posing style. So if we look at the example of these portraits that I shot, I had to work with what's around me. Two of them were shot in one location. Uh, they are palm trees behind. So I had to get closer in order to create an interesting pose. So the image in the center, I had to work with what the subject was wearing to create a dramatic feel to it. Now remember how you pose your subject is enough to create a dramatic feel. Also, bear in mind that light is very essential when you're taking portraits. So you don't want um, to take a picture facing the the light source, rather let the light source um, light up your subject. So go ahead and try out some different portraits and keep shooting in order to improve your style. So in our next lesson, we'll be discussing location and landscapes. <music>